Drop a like and sub in the next five seconds if you guys want the Fortnite Season 8 Battle Pass for free. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Fortnite Mares 2021 update has so many new things coming this year with a load of free rewards, all the patch notes, bosses, new mythic weapons, new items, and much, much more. So make sure you guys do sit back and relax because this update is absolutely awesome. But guys, 88% of you watching this right now are not subscribed, which means you're missing out on a free gift from me as I do give five my most loyal subscribers every single day. For people who do, drop a like on the video, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment with the epic ID down below. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please do consider using my support credit code XAPOS56 in the item shop. As it does help me out a lot, it does help me out do more giveaways to you guys. Hashtag ad. Hope you guys do go and enjoy the video though, because it is crazy. Don't go anywhere. Don't back. go anywhere. We have a lot of things to go over in this update, so we better start getting along with it. But this update already has more than 1,000 test builds, meaning they've tested this update more than 1,000 times. And this is the highest number of test builds they've ever done in any update. So you already know, Fortnite Mares this year is going to be absolutely crazy. But first off, we're talking about all the brand new free rewards for this year's event. And I can say they are going to be absolutely bonkers. Every year we get a free glider for winning in the LTM that we will be talking about later on in the video and my guess is the umbrella is going to be pretty sick and it's most likely going to be related to the cube as the cube is a very very big part of this season or maybe we'll be seeing the broomstick come as the free glider this year because as you guys know last year we did get a broomstick in game but actually never came out as a glider so we could be seeing that this year but we also do get a set of challenges to get some exclusive rewards where you'll get some sort of bat bling some pickaxes some wraps and even some free skins if you guys do remember last year we were supposed to be getting a Kevin the Cube skin, but he never actually released. And now he is getting worked on to be releasing within the next update. It would make total sense for this skin to come out as well. As you guys know, there is a lot more than one Kevin the Cube on the Fortnite map now. So we could be seeing the Kevin the Cube skin come. It will most likely be coming as a free skin for this year's event. But we could also be seeing a Hus skin, maybe like a zombie skin, maybe like the Cube Monster skin. But also, we have just been given with a load, and I mean a load load of concept skins which means we could be seeing some of these halloween skins come out as well which i think would be super super amazing but if you guys actually do go into the sideways bubble or to the sideways rift and you do complete it there is a big boss inside there and it would make a lot of sense for her to actually come out as a fortnite mare skin as well as she is already leaked within the file so maybe we could be seeing some pretty cool free skins this year maybe even the kevin the cube skin we're then talking about all the fortnite mares map changes this year and obviously the past couple of years we've had the fog and the zombies return and these will most likely be coming back this year as well but I mean they're going to be much much different this year and I don't know how I feel about the zombies I'm not glad the zombies are kind of annoying but when you do kill them they do give you quite some good loot for starting off so we'll also be getting a load of in-game decorations just like over at retail row but also in the new Fortnite video we did see steamy stacks get semi destroyed which could mean we could be seeing the start of the destruction of steamy stacks for the start of Fortnite Mares, which I think would be really, really cool. But like I said earlier, we'll be getting a load of Fortnite Mares decorations all around the map on loads of different houses, which is going to be really, really cool. But now it's time to talk about all the new weapons. First off being the Jewel Field Hunters that we did actually see within the Battle Pass trailer. And this kind of does confirm that zombies will return as the name Fiend is actually the zombies code name within the game file. So it kind of does confirm that zombies will be returning. And we'll also be seeing the Mythic a broomstick like I said at the start of the video and this was an amazing weapon for mobility so we'll most likely be seeing the mythic broomstick come back because we've literally got hardly any mobility this season and we'll also be seeing the all famous pumpkin launcher return, the six shooter and also the toxic crossbow but we could also be seeing a load of candy consumables as well where we'll have to search candy pots around the map which will be pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very very excited for all of these weapons to come back including all of the brand new consumables but honestly I cannot wait for the pumpkin Pumpkin launcher, bro. It is an amazing gun every single year. We'll then be seeing a load of new bosses and old bosses come this year, starting with Midas. Midas is rumored to be returning in this year as he was actually seen 
at the very end of the Burning Wolf trailer with a key card. So maybe Volts could be returning this year as well. I really do hope they do because I do miss them. But I imagine Shadow Midas will be coming back instead of actual Midas with his mythic Shadow Drum Gun, which was extremely OP and very hyped last year as well, which I think would be an amazing addition for Shadow Midas to come back this year. But we'll also be seeing the Queen Cube skin. Yes, she is going to be unlockable three days before Halloween, but that doesn't stop her from coming as a boss within Fortnite Mare. She'll be leaked within the upcoming update, so we will know what she does look like. But this is the concept of what Denny has made of the skin, and I actually do think it would be super, super crazy to see her. But we could actually be seeing her come as a boss within this Fortnite Mare's event as well before she does release, which I think would be really, really cool. Coming with some sort of cube weapon, obviously, it would be absolutely amazing to see some cube weapons, maybe like some strikes of lightning down or whatever. But she could also be coming as the big Storm King LTM. If you guys do remember, the Storm King LTM a couple years ago was absolutely insane, where you guys could actually unlock the Storm Sail Umbrella for completely free. And this is what I was talking about at the start of the video, where we could be getting the glider this way. But this year would make perfect sense if we actually did get the Queen come as this LTM and the big boss of LTM. I'm not 100% sure where she would go. I'm guessing in the middle of the map again, but it would be absolutely amazing if we did get a Queen LTM to unlock some exclusive rewards, which I think would be absolutely nuts. I'm not gonna lie, this Fortnite Mares event is going to be absolutely crazy. Let me guys know in the comment section below what you guys do think about it, because I'm telling you now, it is going to be one of the biggest updates of the season. But those are all the brand new leaks about the brand new Fortnite Mares 2021 events. Hopefully you guys are excited, because I'm telling you now, it is going to be absolutely crazy. Let me guys know in the comment section below what you're most excited for. The free rewards are gonna be really cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very excited for them. But let me guys know in the comment section below. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, because we do have the brand new Eddie Brock skin. If you guys are picking this up, please do consider using my support credit code XUPLES56 in the item shop. As it does help me out a lot, it does help me out do more giveaways for you guys. Hashtag ad. As you guys can see, the skin is absolutely crazy. So please do consider using my support credit code. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. The following event is rated F for Fort Nightmares. This fall, vengeance is a dish best served. Go! Midas's revenge. The shadows will rise. Buckle up. The spirit world kicks into high gear. If you can't beat him, Join us. <laughs> and stick around for the Afterlife Party featuring Jay Balvin.